this is a this is a table that uh, that we've we've pulled from the uh, U.S. Department of Energy. Uh, this is the uh, Department of Energy's recommendations for a steam trap maintenance checklist. Uh, I, I, I think this is a very, very good table to, to use as a benchmark. If you notice, we have a description on the left-hand side. It says to test steam traps. And it talks about the three different systems that we went over on the, uh, on the uh, steam chart earlier. In a high-pressure steam trap situation, which obviously you're going to have more mass or more pounds per hour of steam going through the system, you're looking at a 250 PSIG or more system. Uh, it is recommended, if you look over here in the maintenance frequency, that these traps ought to be tested daily. Now, I, I think it's a little unrealistic to think you can go out there and do that yourself, but there are also many systems out there that are now allow you to do that electronically as well on a continuous basis. They also recommend that a medium pressure traps, 30 to 250 PSIG, you need to look at those on a weekly basis. Again, that can be electronically done, uh, or if you have a cycle counting situation, you can do that. And they recommend on a low pressure, Generally, you find this in an HVAC style system or in a very uh, in a very light process environment, commercial environment, a uh, monthly. Repair or replace the traps. It's important that you follow through after you test it. If you repair or replace those traps, you will you will reap the benefits of the cost, cost savings. Cost and savings. This is what this is all about. What are you going to save by repairing or replacing those steam traps? What can you save? In a plant, for a good example, with a value of steam at $10 per thousand pounds, and again, this is a Department of Energy number. We didn't just pull this out of the air. This is a common number used when evaluating the steam system. So basically $10 each equals 1,000 pounds of steam. An inspection program indicates that a trap on 150 pound per hour, 150 PSI steam system is stuck open. The orifice would be approximately an eighth inch orifice that is, uh, that's dependent upon the sizing for a main drip. Uh, our table down below is showing that an estimated steam loss of around 76 pounds per hour would be, would be uh, incurred if, if you were to uh, not repair or replace that trap. So your annual savings equaling a 75.8 pound per hour times about 8,700 hours a year or thereabouts. That's pretty much a national average of running a plant at $10 a 1,000 pounds, one steam trap, and, and this would be very typical of a half-inch steam trap on a main drip, would be about $6,640 a year. And that $10 a 1,000 is a relatively conservative uh, uh, estimate. This is a very standard chart you'll find. Uh, this is published by the Department of Energy and many of the steam trap manufacturers. Uh, this will tell you what a leaking steam trap will let through the valve uh, or through the trap if it is uh, blowing completely through. Standard on the left-hand side, you'll see the orifice uh, diameters in inches. You'll see the steam pressures that uh, are depicted on the right, and that is telling you the pounds per hour of steam that will pass through that trap if it's failed in an open position. In your worst-case scenario, a 3 8 inch orifice on an example of a 150 PSIG steam system will be passing around 682 pounds per hour of steam should that fail in the open position. Steam trap maintenance results in savings of more than $100,000. Again, this is a U.S. Department of Energy um, study that was done on a plant up in, I believe that's in Brockton, Massachusetts. Um, they performed a steam trap assessment of three Veterans Administration hospitals. What the assessment targeted were steam trap performance, and the value of the steam losses. There's about 1,100 traps that they took uh, took the survey on, and they looked at three different pressures, 15, 40, and 80 PSIG. The malfunctioning traps were designated for either repair, replacement. This included in this assessment was a training program on steam trap testing. And again, we talked about the three, three different styles of trap testing. The cost of the initial steam trap audit was approximately $25,000. That would be the labor to come out and do it. Of the, on these three facilities. The estimated energy savings totaled over 100000 The estimate was $104,000. The cost of repair and replacement of the traps was approximately $10,000. Plus the cost savings of 104000 would pay for the implementation costs of around 35000 in four months. What we're getting at is not do you just want to, re, uh, to, to do the audit, to do the survey, to do the study. 
follow through and replace or repair those traps and you will see the savings. What other opportunities are there to save dollars? Uh, here's a good example again from the Department of Energy that is uh, looking at uh, PG&E steam trap rebate systems. Many different uh, suppliers out there of your utility offer rebates for saving, uh, saving BTUs and for implementing a steam trap uh, maintenance program. Uh, it's $50 to $290 in rebates for trap replacement. PG&E gas customers were eligible for a rebate when replacing failed steam traps. A rebate for commercial steam traps of any size is approximately $50 per trap. For the industrial steam traps, depending upon the pound per hour of steam and the pressure, was approximately $100 to $290 per trap. So, you know, obviously pursue all these options out there, the federal government, your different utilities. Uh, there are programs out there that will assist you in implementing a, a good steam trap maintenance program. Maintaining your steam traps is a formula to savings. Steam trap plus maintenance, you will realize savings. What, what, I want to thank you very much for attending our seminar today. Uh, this is the second in a series of three seminars that we're putting on. And we would like to uh, invite you to join us uh, for our next seminar on uh, December 1st, which is Gaining Energy Efficiency via Automated Valves. What we're looking at here is our web page. Uh, we would encourage you to uh, order our source book online. Uh, we have also uh, available a hard copy catalog that, as you've seen in the pages that we have referenced earlier, uh, all of these are available uh, through our website. Uh, it, uh, this is our, uh, our source book. Uh, we'll offer you selection guides, tech, tech tips, and product photos as well. So please feel free to order this. We would like to um, make sure you have a catalog in your hands. Steam trap application and maintenance. Just want to end this by saying there's some key things to remember. Select the right trap for application. Select the right size trap. Monitor and maintain your trap population to save money. And please feel free to call industrial controls to make the right selection for all your steam process requirements.